Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Richard Stevenson. I'm the director of Stevenson Dental Solutions in San Dimas, California. And let's get right to it. We're going to be examining tooth number 30 from Accidental. This is their X2 endo tooth that is oftentimes assigned on various examination boards, licensing agencies throughout the United States. This tooth is to be mounted in a special uh, sectional tray that's put into a type of that has a magnetic base on it and uh, an endodontic access opening is uh, prepared on this during the Western Regional Exam that's offered throughout the United States. So we just are reminded about the access here. It's uh, the boundary on the mesial is the line that is drawn from the mesial buckle to the mesolingual cusp tip and the distal boundary would be the buccal lingual grooves. So you're going to start your access between those two boundaries right in the middle of the tooth utilizing usually a two round burr and then moving up to perhaps a four round burr where you unroof the chamber of the pulp and then you start your preparation to locate the canals. We are going to show that in a subsequent video, and I think that uh, my friend Amit Bathaja has done a great job with this uh, demonstration. That will be in our next video on access for Accidental Tooth Number 30. So I was kind of interested to know what is the internal look like uh, of this tooth. So I went ahead and shaved the tooth from the top down from the occlusal down to the gingival all the way past the furcation in 350 micron increments so about a third of a millimeter each one and I photographed uh, each step and I wanted to let you see what that looked like. So that was it, and it was kind of fun to do. So give me feedback. Let me know what you think. Take care. Bye.